Welcome to this edition of Meet the Mustangs. I'm Mike Rouse. Joining us today is a man who really needs no introduction, goes by one name like Pele, Chico. How are you? I'm very good. How are you doing, Mike? Good. It's nice to be here. Well, we're glad to have you here. Has it hit you yet that your college tennis career is, is coming to an end, or are you still so caught up in the excitement? It's been hitting me slowly. That yeah. senior day that we had here hit me pretty strong. But since we're still working and still practicing and still working on uh, faulty shots and yeah. exercising, you know, consistency and physical work, yeah. I feel like we're in this groove still, and so I'm still focused on the season and not so much in what I'm going to do after and how sad I'm going to be after. <laughs> well, you guys do have, you just repeated as conference champions, regular season. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And now you have to go up to Grand Junction and yes. play in that beautiful weather for the postseason tournament. We were lucky that when we, when we went up to Pueblo and Denver, now it was pretty sunny. Right. It snowed the day after we left. And so I don't think we're going to be that lucky this weekend. But hopefully we can play good. And I mean, the weather's going to be bad for everyone. Right. So it's a fair game. So we know that the best memories are still to come in this season, but if you look back over your career here at Western New Mexico, is there a time that stands out or a match that stands out? Or? I think the, the, most, the, most, the thing that I remember the most is this transition between my sophomore year and my junior year in tennis, which had a whole two semesters in between where I ran cross country. And I feel like this experience running for Coach Campus made me a whole new player. A whole new tennis player, and so I think that's what I, that what marks me the most for my college career is this uh, sophomore and freshman and sophomore year, yeah. where I was this little crazy kid just hitting the balls everywhere to the fences <laughs> and getting in trouble with coach and everything, and then this season of cross country calmed me down a little bit and made me more aware of myself. And when I came back, Jerry kept looking at me and saying, "Man, where where did that come from? Where <laughs> yeah. where how did you change? How what happened?" And so I feel like I became a new player and I understand the game a little better. I'm a more patient, more mature towards the game. I feel like this change is what marked me the most. You know, just so you know, coach is usually taking credit for that change when other people ask about it. So <laughs> Well he's he's a big part of it. He's he is, a big no part doubt. of it too. Yeah. He even his emotional support and just being there with me. We mm -hmm. Even though he's my coach now, the head coach, we lived together. We were we, when we got here to CVC, we got here together, so we were good friends, and so he was a big part of it for me throughout this whole time. Bad times, good times, good matches, not so good matches. He was always there. I know one of the things that you guys like is when you get to play at home, and some of the crowd being here, the students being here. It's always so warm and so nice when you guys come out and and you've seen us practice. We've seen you in the weekends, and then you come and see actually us being in action, you know, we doing our job. We get to watch job. real tennis instead of what we do on the it's, weekends. Uh, of course not, of course not. But it's, it's really yeah. nice. It's really warm to play mm -hmm. at home. We feel comfortable. And it seems like the team is really close-knit. You guys spend a lot of time together and genuinely like each other. And we've been getting closer and closer. Mm -hmm. uh, the beginning of the season, everyone liked each other, and we deal we, we deal with, it, with each other very well. And I thought that was, I said, well, okay, this is good, but you know, when it's too good, it can't improve very much. But we've been getting closer and closer throughout the year. I don't see this team going downhill at all. Well, I'm not going to ask you what you do when it's all over because I don't want you to focus on that. I want you to get a national championship for Western New Mexico. And if you do ask me that, you might throw me off a little bit right now because, <laughs> like I said, I'm focused on finishing what I'm doing now, and we'll see. I still got a year of school, so I'll be around in Silver City for another year. Well, we'd like to hear that. I'll get you out on the tennis court when you're done. Oh, I'll always be there. <laughs> tennis, I'll always be in the tennis court forever and ever. We'll put you on one of the USTA teams with us. Oh, it would be, be my pleasure. All right. It would be my pleasure. I want to keep competing for sure. Chico, thanks for joining us. Good Thank luck the rest much. of this season. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us on Meet the Mustangs.